Bolt, a payments company providing one-click checkout services, agreed to buy wire payments for $1.5 billion to add support for crypto transactions, making it the largest non-SPAC deal in the crypto industry. Joining us now to discuss is Bolt CEO Maju Kruvilla, as well as Wire co-founder and CEO Yanni Gianaris. Welcome, Maju and Yanni. Thanks for joining us. So I guess let's start off with, you know, what does this mean for ordinary folks who want to use crypto for payments? Maju, why don't you start with? Bolt provide accelerated one-click checkout experience on all merchants and brands out there today. And Bolt is used by thousands of merchants, and we have tens of millions of shoppers already take advantage of Bolt. And Bolt connects merchants and shoppers with all different payment models. And now with wire acquisitions, we are giving shoppers and merchants friction-free one-click access to all crypto infrastructure. And 4% of shoppers today across the world uh, use crypto. And with this acquisition, we feel we can bring in or accelerate the crypto adoption across the world. You know, uh, during BTC Miami, we heard from Jack Mahler's the CEO of Strike say that they were going to have a partner with Shopify. They also had partnerships with other point and sale companies. I, I wonder is, how is this different or this is it the same, Maju? Well, Bolt and Wire, one of the things what we have common is we are very decentralized players. So we connect with every payment options, every crypto infrastructure, uh, every assets out there and every shopper, every ecosystem. So what we're very excited about the announcement made by Jack Mallor and what we are even more excited is we can bring those functionality on every crypto asset, every chains to every merchant, irrespective of any uh, shopping platform or ecosystem, what they are using. Mm -hmm. Yanni, maybe you can talk about the power of this first of its kind, one-click crypto checkout. You know, who's going to be using this? Where uh, is it kind of like an Amazon? Yeah, absolutely. So Wire was founded, you know, under the principle of how do we get billions of billions of people into the crypto space? Um, and we, we, we do that through a really nice, easy on-ramp. So we're one of the largest on-ramp providers out there in the space right now. So we power companies like MetaMask, Rarible, and, and hundreds and if not thousands of other developers all over the space. And we do something very simple. How do we take a credit card payment and convert it into crypto and deposit it into, that, into the product? With the partnership with Bolt and the acquisition with Bolt, it's going to accelerate. They built the world-class like one-click conversion into uh, e-commerce. So we're going to take that same technology and make it as easy as possible to buy crypto. And we really think that's going to accelerate and set a new standard on how to on-ramp into different wallets, exchanges, NFT platforms. And uh, it's, going to, it's going to be a really game changer. And how are you offering this? Is this through a credit card or is it through an app? Yeah, so right now, this is directly through just the wallet infrastructure um, that we power and in, in it's through our checkout widget and and, um, and also our API infrastructure. And with Bolt, um, Maju, you could probably chat about that a little bit more, but um, it's directly through their website as well. Okay. Uh, Maju, so Bolt is based in San Francisco. In January, you guys raised $355 million at a $11 billion valuation. So, so is this acquisition where th that money went partially or how, how are you, how are you um, w what are you spending that money that you recently raised and, and how are you funding this purchase? Yeah, we are very excited about the traction we are getting from the market. So uh, we invest our money in both building and innovating our current product line uh, because we are seeing a lot of uh, interest from a lot of merchants and, and our partners. So we need to continue to innovate and stay ahead on the e-commerce side. And uh, obviously acquisitions are a key part of our strategy. So a Wire being, being one of the most biggest examples so far for us right now. And for Wire, it's a mix of cash and stock deal. Okay. And I, since, since that raise, what, what else do you plan to do with, and how do you, do you plan to spend the money? Yeah, so uh, as I mentioned, we are continuing to invest in uh, uh, making the e-commerce more friction-free and also bring it to every merchant. So our core mission is to decentralize commerce. So the convenience what shoppers are seeing just today on Amazon, we want to bring that and make it available on every platform, whether that's on an e-commerce website 
whether people are discovering products on social media or following influencers. We want to make it so simple that people can buy with one click. Now, Wire has uh, bring in tens of uh, thousands of developers on their ecosystem. So now the Bolt APIs and our Shopper Accounts Network, our fraud system, and our connection to all the merchants, they will be accessible to these tens of thousands of, shop of developers that are using Wire. And, uh, and, and so we want to continue to accelerate the, the, the crypto adoption into the mainstream. And that's a mm -hmm. big investment we'll continue to do with. Yanni, Wire. just zooming out a more macro, I wonder, you know, what are people buying with cryptocurrencies and, and which cryptocurrencies are being used for payments? Absolutely. So we've seen, um, so um, throughout our entire ecosystem, we help a lot of different wallets on ramp directly into the platform. So we help developers really have this easy, take all the, the regulatory hurdles, all the liquidity hurdles, and actually getting kind of crypto into these um, wallets. And we make it super, super simple. Uh, with those, we see a lot of trends in kind of the NFT market space. Um, you know, MetaMask being a large partner of ours, uh, being able to deposit directly funds into MetaMask and then from there, we see a lot of merchants and, and shoppers actually go out and purchase NFTs. Uh, we have a lot of very interesting use cases with our API infrastructure. We help companies like AirTM and move money across borders for taking in funds here, and then uh, helping countries such as Venezuela and many other countries all over the world uh, for global remittances. So we see a lot of different use cases, and that's the beautiful thing about the wire APIs. They're very flexible, right? Um, and we bring this Coinbase-like functionality to developers. That's really interesting. So do you see certain regions around the world who are more enthusiastic about paying in cryptocurrencies than others? Absolutely. So we're an infrastructure company, and so it's important that we, you know, you can build a lot of things on top of us. So we're very agnostic to currencies. We're very agnostic to uh, countries, but we realize, you know, Latin America and, and parts of Africa are, are very core parts of uh, our infrastructure that we built out last year. Uh, we partnered with the company with the uh, Stellar ecosystem and using a lot of those anchors um, last year to really go into Argentina and Brazil. Uh, and we're going to continue following this trend of like working with the protocols to actually expand to different geographies. So uh, Latin America is going to be big for us. Um, um, we already had India on the roadmap over the next 24 months, and I imagine that we're going to continue going there. Uh, and yeah, so Yanni, India I'm, definitely I'm just wondering, us. do you do you find that people are paying with one cryptocurrency in particular? Do you view a future with you know one? cryptocurrency for payments, a few or many? I, I definitely view a multi-chain world uh, existing in the future. Every protocol has its own uh, unique uh, propositions. Uh, it's interesting, you know, a lot of the protocols are adapting to NFTs right now. So, uh, but I do think that we are in a multi-chain world, um, you know, uh, and I believe that, you know, the Stellar, for example, has a, uh, an a, a ecosystem that is revolves around remittance and cross-border payments. And I assume that, you know, all the partnerships with MoneyGram and, and a few others are kind of like move them to that sort of ecosystem. And, you know, we see Solana and uh, different payment ecosystems really adopting other different areas. So I really do view it as a multi-chain uh, world in the future. Interesting. Maggie, finally, this deal is larger than Galaxy Digital's $1.2 billion acquisition of BitGo last May, which is a crypto custodian. I wonder, is that a reflection of growing market demand or more because Wire is a unique asset? Well, Wire is <clears throat> certainly a unique asset. Like uh, Yanni mentioned, you know, they are the only company out there with a very comprehensive API <clears throat> for the entire crypto ecosystem. And also the way they are looking at is very similar to Bolt's uh, mission, which is a very decentralized agnostic approach rather than looking at a particular uh, currency or a chain we're be being the infrastructure for crypto so we can connect with everything. Now, from a demand perspective, Merchants are, you know, we are speaking to a lot of merchants and they are seeing the demand that they need to meet. For example, they're finding that uh, people with paying with crypto end up paying twice, uh, spend twice as much as than people who pay with credit cards on their, on their sites. And also merchants that turn on crypto payment tend to see around 40% net new customers that they didn't have access to before. 
So, and the newer generations tend to have a, uh, more connections with uh, NFT and, and a different kind of engagement model that a lot of brands and merchants need to connect with. So clearly merchants and retailers want to tap into this segment of shoppers that they haven't historically been able to do it. And they are asking companies like us to make that easy and, and simple. So with Bolt and Wire coming together, we are creating that, that complete functionality available for everyone with one click, friction-free, so that shoppers all over the world can use cryptocurrency to buy whatever they want just with one click. And merchants all over the world can just accept any of those payments across any cryptocurrency or any mm -hmm. assets just with one click.